hey guys welcome back to my channel again <laughs> so i hope that you guys understand i really love these emails that you guys send me it sparks up great topics um but before i get into the video i just want to say that i had somebody message me something and it's a, it's a woman but um i was already watching videos that like sparked at this jealousy topic that women don't support other women and it kind of like i don't know it's funny how i thought about that and then she messaged me and i was like ah shit so let me just give you an example so basically on fresh and fit there was a girl talking about um how she cooks for her man makes three me meals a day she was on food network and she makes three meals a day from scratch at that and as she's speaking myron's like go oh, good job like that's really really good really and all the girls around her just like like looking at her and I'm like, mm, I want to say something really quick. It's going to trigger a lot of women. The reason why women call other women pick me's is because you guys seek validation from men. You guys want to sit here and say we seek validation from men. How do we seek validation from men? By agreeing with things that we literally wholeheartedly believe. <laughs> Just because y'all hate men doesn't mean we do. So if you guys turn up over there on your crazy land, I'm not like that. But as I was watching the girl stare at her and like dog her out, I'm like, damn, that's sad. A girl cooking for her man and a girl making meals from scratch. You guys are bitter about that and staring at her and eyeballing her down for what? Because you don't cook? Because you don't clean? That makes no sense. It's like women want you to hate your man, want you to despise your man. Like, you guys, calm down. Like, we are all different, but I've noticed the jealousy that women have is really crappy because you can change it like that. You're not a good girlfriend, change it. You don't cook, change that. You don't clean, change that. Any guy I'm with doesn't have to do laundry, doesn't have to cook. Don't touch the dishes. Don't touch anything. You know what I mean? Like there should be things that you should be doing as a woman. And if this is triggering you, then you probably should start doing it then. I don't understand why we're pulling teeth and getting mad at us and calling us pick me's when we literally are just trying to love our men wholeheartedly. And there's nothing wrong with that. God loves people who love his children. So if you guys are not doing anything for your man wholeheartedly, please don't get mad at the women who do because you have to think about that. Like, that's sad. Why do you want to be with somebody who you treat like crap? Pfft. Ladies, get it together, so that please. Being said, let's go ahead and read this now. I'm excited. So she put, I'm spoiled by my husband. I mean, very spoiled as she should be, baby. I don't clean my home. He does. I'd like to say I don't even do my own laundry. He's making me now. Wow, a whole other story as to why, but I spoil him in my own way. Give him peace, home cooked meals, and never say no to his needs. Oh, I know what she's talking about. <laughs> Good job, queen. We mutually spoil each other and it works for us. When I met my husband, I was on a fast track to corporate America, but I always made sure my family, especially my husband, because kids, um, his kids are not there or on leave. Okay, so after 15 years of that, I mess, wait. Okay, 15 years of that mess, I work at a country bumpkin job making a fourth of what I used to make and I'm so happy, stress-free, I love it. We are essentially debt-free, we have one piece of land to pay off and my husband treated himself to a new car. Mm, go ahead. Just because we have money doesn't mean we should just spend it willy-nilly. <laughs> I love that. Where 49 retirement is on the horizon, but anyway, to the story. I mainly work with three women that includes my boss. My husband just told me that after we pay the land next door, um, I no longer have to contribute to the checking account. My check I earn will be mine and do as I please. You go, you go, girl. Of course, I'm going to keep contributing to the saving and the grandkids fun. That's a beautiful thing. That's good. But you'd think telling my coworkers this, that they would be happy and excited about my news. But no. Oh, my boss is great about it and the other two not so, not so much. They have serious issues in their relationships and kinda, I rarely cuss, but this is, oh, it's called for. She said shizzle, which means shit. <laughs> On good news, I feel like I can never share my good fortune because they have issues. Ah, this isn't the first um good news, wait, news I've tried to share. I know you advocate for men, but when men are doing a great job in a relationship that's not your own, why do you have to be that way when you hear other women's good fortune? This isn't the first time it's happened to me. It happens very often. I even had a woman befriend me just to see if I was telling the truth. What? She told me this because there is no such thing as a good man. So the woman has to be a liar or making it up. No, I found a good man. Stop being a jealous B with a capital B. Yo, yo, what? Hold so up, hold up. Foremost, 
congratulations on you and your husband having a beautiful dynamic. I've spoke with you before and I'm just happy to know that there are good couples out there that are doing the damn thing and doing whatever makes it work for them. God bless you. I want to say I'm proud of you and your husband. I'm proud that you guys have a healthy relationship and I'm so happy for you, honey, that you get to use your money for yourself. You get to do what you want. But understand this. I'm proud of you. I love you. I appreciate everything you're doing for your man. I appreciate everything he's doing for you. But understand this, mama. Not everybody's going to give a fuck. I'm sorry, but it's true. I learned the hard way to stop telling women things about me. Because when you tell people about your success or things that are happening and good for you, it's always bragging or, oh, it's not such a thing as a good man. Yo, I used to tell one of my coworkers, oh my God, I cook for my man, I this, I that. I would literally, before I even worked out or meal prepped, I wake up in the morning, make this man breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever, and he used to work like a warehouse job. So I would like give it to him, he would take it to work. And my ex-friends were like, oh, uh, why do you do that? That's so gross. Like he can make his own food. Like I'm not going to be a slave. Why are you getting mad at me waking up extra early to take care of my man? I'm sorry you don't suck pee pee and you don't give a fuck about your man's mental health, but we over here slurping the mental health right out of him, bitch. I'm sorry. You're not going to shame me about what I'm doing. You're not going to shame me for being a good woman. F that. I'm sorry that you have to even go through this because you know what's sad? A lot of us don't have friends. A lot of us don't have people we can go to, especially men. Um, and there's a lot of women who don't get this. There's so much cattiness around. That's why that women empowerment thing to me, guys, is it's not, it doesn't happen. It, I don't believe in that because you will be cool with a girl for two little seconds. And the moment she thinks you're trying to show out on her, she's not going to like you. Because you know why? I say this over and over again. And I know this by experience and other women I've talked to. Women are in imaginary competition with each other. I don't know what the hell you guys like think. But I'm in a competition with myself. I'm competing with a girl in the mirror every single day to be better. So when you're competing with me, girl, stop it. You don't want to compete with me. Like I said, stay in your lane because if you see what I can do with these hands, this mouth, this body, don't even do it. You're going to get flamed and you're going to get hurt every time. So that's why I don't understand that. Stay in your ten toes, mama. Don't let any girl belittle you or make you feel like anything. Just like you said, she's a capital B. It's true. Who does that? Really think about that. I feel like women want it bothers me so much. Women want us to treat our partners like crap. Why? I don't want to do that. I don't want my man to go to work and then say he doesn't have lunch and all the other men have lunch. Or he goes to work and he's depressed and sad all because of you. Now, don't get me wrong. We've all been toxic, had our issues. I've had my toxic um, fair shares of things. But as of now, guys, I don't act like that. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to act like that. I want to wholeheartedly love somebody, cook them meals, do their laundry, take care of them. And then I feel like that's a beautiful thing. That's how you know you're doing your job right. You mean to tell me he said, go ahead and keep your checks to yourself? Round of a fucking applause. Round of applause. Don't let these women shame you. Don't ever let any woman shame you. The one thing about me, you're never going to make me feel like anything. I'm so confident in myself and I know what I bring to the table that no other woman who lacks what I got is going to tell me nothing. Girl, you don't even cook. Please, what are you talking about? You see what I'm saying? And the fact that she said there are no good men out here, that just says a lot about her relationship. She gets dogged out by her man. She probably don't treat her man good. And she's probably blaming him. The type of relationship she probably has is awful. So she's coming to you and projecting that shit on you. I'm sorry, but when I hear women even speak like that, you literally would be like, oh, it's not a good man. Oh, you're lying about it. You're this. You guys hear that? You guys hear that? Guys, if you ever meet me in a real life, when it comes to people disrespecting me in my relationship, I won't even entertain it. I'm not going to entertain it. But don't be disrespectful. Don't get in my face. You see, I'm the type of person who understands there, there's not a lot of good people in this world. I'm sorry. There, there is, but I feel like there's a slim amount. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. Let's be super honest here. There are a lot of people that are bitter as heck. As I've started growing and healing and being a better woman, especially with social media and the way women treat you, I started realizing that there's a lot of women who are very bitter and because they have so many men dog them out and treat them some type of way, they feel as though when you get with a good man, why does she deserve that? Instead of saying, damn, what is she doing that I can learn from? That's what I don't like about women. They will belittle you and they will not like you instead of saying, wow, she's doing something right. Hey girl, like, can I ask you something? What do you do that makes your, your man go a little crazy like that? You want to know, girl? Shh. You know, I put that thing on him. You know what I mean? I keep that snail popping, you know, that sleep is live. You know what I mean? I don't understand why women belittle each other. You can learn a lot from women like me. I can educate you on things from being, having nothing but brothers and being surrounded by men. How do you think I know men so well? I listen to them. I understand their mental health. I know what they like. I know what they crave. And if you're with a man, you learn him. 
Study him. Just like you sit there and study those drama shows and you're watching Kim Kardashian, turn that shit off and watch your man. See what he likes, see what he does, see what turns him on, see what gets him going. It's not hard. Fuck him, fuck him, love him. Take care of his heart. Men protect us physically. You protect him emotionally and you protect his heart. I'm sorry to say this, and even though if it's weird or whatever, you're the new mama bear to him. You protect that man like he protects you. And when you sit there and get mad at another woman for their relationship flourishing, <clears throat> take a hike. I can't believe that. I, I'm so sorry that you even had to go through that, girl. Because you know what's the worst thing? Being super excited about something, going and telling somebody, and then they make you feel dumb for it. Don't let anybody make you feel like that, mama. You're a beautiful queen. I am so happy for you. I wish I could hug you because that's beautiful. And I've talked to you, so I, I love it. I love that you are in a beautiful relationship. Don't let nobody take that from you. Because at the end of the day, Who's at home arguing with their man? <laughs> Who's at home uh, fucking crying and in shambles? Who's at home saying, I'm not going to cook, see if he learns? <laughs> she ain't going to be happy. You see what I'm saying? That's why I don't I don't care what other women say. You don't suck pee pee and you're wondering why your man doesn't want you? you. You literally stonewall him, you ignore him, and you wonder why he doesn't want you. Don't blame me. Don't get mad at me because I'm over here trying to love a man and hold him to every night and suck it. That ain't my problem. Take that shit up with you and God. You know what I mean? Look yourself in the mirror and, and start understanding you need to fix that. But the fact, I, I cannot t stop talking about this, you guys. It bothers me so much because I've learned this over time that women and even men do it sometimes too. They'll look at somebody and instead of asking, how do you get like that? It's like a jealousy, envy thing. Do you know the type of person I am? I'll put you on game. I'm not going to shame you. But if you shame me, get out of my face. Don't ask me for help later. I will never help you. But if you come at me like an adult and say, hey, Tay, like, uh, I know what, I know nobody wants to do this, you guys. I know that it's hard to ask people for help and we're not accustomed to doing that. But ladies, I'm letting you know now, if you're watching this video, ask me for help. Don't shame me. Ask me for help and I will help you for free. So if you need tips on how to love your man and be in a flourishing relationship, ask me for help. I will help you. I'm not misogynistic. I don't hate women. I want you guys to be in flourishing relationships. But if you already are not cooking, you're not cleaning, you're nagging him all day long and you're shaming him, you're making fun of him for crying, you're yelling at him, don't expect your relationship to work. And you know what? You never say sorry. You don't take accountability. Stop saying, oh, why me? Why me? No. No. Y'all set the tone in the relationship and you get mad at the way it turns out. Blame yourselves. So like I said, please understand your man. And every man's different, y'all. If you sit there and listen, and if you took the time to get to know your man, you would learn a lot. But that tells me that you didn't even try. So why be in a relationship with somebody and say, I'm stuck with them or whatever. No good men exist. They do exist. Y'all, okay, I'm gonna be real with you. Good men are everywhere. They're in your DMs. They're the ones hitting you up that you don't like. They're the ones that you can't stand. The ones who are persistent and say, hey, girl, let me take you out. Hey, this, let me that. Those are the ones that you guys don't like. Let's talk about it. You guys want to chase all these dudes who literally would leave you in a heartbeat. But the men that are good for you, you don't want. And I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to out y'all. Every woman in their lifetime has dealt with a good man and that's got away. And one, they're bitter about it. They, every woman has an ex that literally got away or they're with their love life, their love partner right now. I'm saying it because a lot of women don't say it. And then they get with new guys and they're fucking pissed because they knew they fucked up on the old one. Yeah, ladies. So let's just take accountability okay, now. Okay, my and hammer's cut off. I'm so sorry. But the last thing I want to say is let's start taking accountability as women and please start meeting your men's needs. If it's not a good man and it's not a man you should be loving wholeheartedly, leave. You guys are the ones that pick them and they yet complain. You do not have to sit in a relationship you don't have to be in. But like I keep saying this over and over again, why be in a relationship if you're not going to do the work? Why sit there and suffer? If you're not giving somebody love, like I mean unconditional love, don't expect your relationship to be working and flourishing. I don't get why women don't grasp that. You don't cook, you don't clean, you don't suck anything, and you expect it to work. You don't communicate properly, you stonewall, you ignore. Please understand how your relationship dynamic is going to work. So guys, I hope this helped. To you, queen, I'm proud of you. Um, also... Have a good one, guys. I love you. Take care of your mental health. Say your affirmations. Go to the gym right now. But take care, guys. If you guys need any more advice, please hit me up. My email will be up here. And if you want to book a session with me, I got deals for the holidays. Hit my line, baby. Cheap deals, too. Love y'all.